I came to the Royal Court through the Unheard Voices programme at the Royal Court and I did a writing group for about 10 weeks with Mike and Ola, Mike Bartlett, the playwright. And um, it was like a group of about 30 of us and we came every week. Um, and I had to submit a small piece of writing to get on the group, which was quite exciting. So I felt like I'd kind of got over the first hurdle of having written anything before. And then on the group, we were kind of told from week one that the point of it, or the um, aim for it even, was to hand in our first full-length play. And I don't think anyone on, on the group had written a full-length play by this point. Some had done scratch nights and short pieces here and there, but no one had actually written. So we were all kind of aiming for that. And um, that's how I came in, and that's how I wrote my first play. I remember the first Royal Court play that I saw that I was like, that's perfect like that's a Royal Court play and it was down at Elephant and Castle and it was random by Debbie Tucker Green and me and my mate paid like three quid to get in and we'd seen the posters everywhere in Streatham so I didn't really know what the Royal Court was but I'd seen this poster of this profile of the boy I never really knew much about it other than the image clicked with me and that was quite a while before and then when I saw the image again in Elephant by this point I think I was like interested in applying for the Royal Court, so it was a bit more on my radar and I wanted to, I was interested in their writing groups. So suddenly I put the picture from Streatham with the image of the Royal Court, put them together, and I was like, let's go find out what that's about. And it was Soroka Davis I saw. She was just brilliant. And I remember being like, we were kind of sat on sofas, and I was like, if one girl can do that in a dark room, that's kind of special. I've had two plays on here and I've been very lucky and then you just see the team and you have these brilliant directors and then they cast these like fantastic like perfect actors and then you get this design team that's just like so excellent at what they do and I'm like <laughs> you can't go wrong <laughs> after that so it's okay if it's the writer's first play or it's the writer's a bit shaky because it's just kind of propped up by this super strong team and everyone kind of working to support you and help you and guide you. And like for my first play, like I had Clint and Oltz and um, all these like brilliant, brilliant actors. And I was like, God, <laughs> I'm in a pretty safe place here. And I kind of think if the World Cup keep doing that, then obviously they're gonna hit these brilliant pieces of theater. And that means that the court can make exciting work.